Hello, freaks and geeks, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 Survivor Mode. And well, today, uh, actually, so I don't know what we're going to do today, we're, but it's definitely not going to be, well, it's probably going to be in the title, but it, it's definitely not going to be anything um, story mode related. But in between episodes, I went to Diamond City and got some more junk for some building material and well I've decided to yeah I don't know Let's see more sensitive yeah I I don't know if we should um, upgrade our pistol or whatnot but I've already I think I've already what well, it's not exactly a matter of thinking but with this I'm Hopefully, I can't remember if we already upgraded this to a Harden, or if it already came with a Harden um, receiver. But I'm gonna go with a calibrated. Actually, hold on. Let me let me actually check before. Let me check what we have for our um, mods and and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. It looks like we didn't actually do anything with the. Um, with this sniper rifle, it, I think it already came with. Uh, oh no, I do not want to build that. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Um. Yeah, I, I. It looks like it already came with the hardened receiver. So. Yes, yes, dance. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and build this. Gonna take pretty much all of our screws and all of our oil. Um, but. Yeah, we're going to take this with us just because, don't get me wrong, I like I like uh, the 44 pistol and everything, but there's just not enough ammo for this thing. And it just, it seems like it's not doing enough damage in all honesty. So I, I think I'm going to actually, as much as I really hate to leave it, I'm going to leave it here. Um, until we get more ammo for it. Because we have a lot more ammo, and a lot more 308 ammo for the sniper rifle. And, yeah, and th that's really just the main reason. And we're, I'm wanting to cut down on the amount of weapons that we have, or, you know, the amount of weapons that we are carrying around, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, why do we have so many weapons in our thing? Most of it is just mines and, uh, mines and throwables, so... That's good. That's good. Now, I'm going to also offload a lot of aid as well because we have too much aid going around. So, let's. Uh, I'm going to take a second and unload some of this. And I'll be right back with you whenever we're ready to go back out on the road. Hmm, 260 doesn't seem right for my, for my carry capacity. Wait, I think I'm just used to having three, was it 320 or something like that? Because I've been in power armor for such a long time. I think that makes more sense. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think 260 is actually my normal carry capacity without, um, without, uh, any companions with me. So, I, I, I guess that's, uh. I guess that's correct. I'm just so used to having power armor for the past two episodes. <laughs> well, since we have a level up, why don't we uh, go ahead and use it? I did not notice that until uh, until now. Now, considering how we're going to be actually using more rifle, uh, rifles, uh, base guns, and everything like that, I am thinking about taking the third rank of riflemen. The only other, I mean, I, I mean, I guess there's two other perks I would take. It would be Critical Banker and then Bloody Mess. But I think just for pure damage sake, and also the fact that, you know, I, the other rank is not until 31, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Rifleman just, uh, just for the extra damage increase. And I think that actually would make the sniper even more powerful, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Y yes, it... Uh, actually, no. It still does 80. Huh. Does that not... I, I don't know. I... Whoop. 
but I, it's not in my favorites yet, so, yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, hold on, what's, I guess when I, ah, okay. Well, and I was going to say, why is there no, uh, map marker, but, um, I guess there isn't one for the Freedom Trail. Yeah, that's kind of strange. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and, um, start, uh, kick off the, uh, railroad uh, in today's episode just because I think that will be a good idea to go ahead and do um, start off the railroad mission start off another fa faction and so yeah let's go ahead and do that and plus with uh, with with the De with Deacon's beginning mission I do believe you get uh, once you complete that mission you get um, a pretty pretty powerful 10 millimeter which would definitely replace this one that I'm currently uh, holding in my hands right now. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and try to do that today. Huh. Why does a... That's not a good sign. Why is there just a dead Brahmin right there? Trinity Plaza. Oh, that's a bad place, isn't it? I do not want to go in there. <laughs> I feel like that's a bad place. Uh, hello there, super mutant. Well, that did not do as much damage as I nearly thought. What are they fighting over there, though? Huh, that... What did I just walk into? Absol... What? Who? Who is this bloke? Or he's gonna be a dead bloke, that's all I know. He he was in red, I don't feel bad about that at all. At, is that, hold on, did I say that right? Absalon? I don't know. That's how, at least how I read it. I don't think it was, I don't think that's actually how you say their name. Wait, hold on, did I? Darth Moth Professional Building. Oh, another thing of Super Mutant's orders. Uh, he had a melon. Ooh, ooh. Uh, do I have anything on my left leg? Uh, no, it's just leather. A little bit heavier. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. That's actually. Actually, no, it's lighter. Oh wait a minute, he has. A whole... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of this. And switch out the pieces that... Uh, and switch out the pieces. Okay, yeah, the the chest piece is the only piece I really have. Well, besides the pocketed... Okay, pocketed right arm. How do you say this person's name? Because I, I want to say a Absalom. But I, I can't really read... Uh, I can't really, like, read names and then say them properly a lot of the times, which, uh, is a skill I need to get better at. Hello there, Raider. Oh, hello, hello. I'm finding all the locations today, apparently, that I do not mean to be finding. Someone else is near here. 
Oh, whoops. Forgot to put the shotgun. Oh! Ow. Oh! Okay, running! As soon as they start throwing Molotovs, I'm out of there. Oh, are they nearby here? I'm supposed... Oh, shit! A shotgun in your chest. That should solve our problems. Oh, great. Why do they have to be raiders everywhere? To be fair, I'm going through a part of Boston that I do not know whatsoever. I am just trying to get to the seafront. Because from there, I would know where to go. Actually, why did I do? Do I not have Boston Commons in my in my log or in my thing? Oh no, yeah, I do. It's right there. Okay, so yeah, I just need to go a little bit more this way. You saw nothing. I'm in danger, that means they're gonna th start throwing Molotovs! I mean, if you turn up, you're gonna be dead. Ah, yeah, see? Oh, great, now I hear super mutants. scared the ever-living shit out of me. Great, now I'm trapped. Am I trapped here? No, okay, I can hop over this little thing. Um, uh, yeah, I do not want to mess with the gunners, thank you very much. Oh, fuck. Um, this is not. Why did I have to? <laughs> Why did I have to come this way? Okay, well, I think that's a part of the. Wait, is that part of the Freedom Trail? I'm not quite sure. You know what, yeah, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run past you. Mr. Rad Scorpion. I'm just running around in a point. Uh, why am I running into so many enemies? 
Hey, Raider, there's a Marlurk here. No? Oh, what am I detected by? That's immediately not trying to kill me. Uh, wh why am I going towards the sea? I'm just trying to get to the seafront. <gasps> oh no, that's a razor claw. Oh, okay, there's a- there's another one! There's another one! Oh god. Um... My god, this shotgun- this shotgun has saved my ass! So, oh my god, so many times already. And that's why I don't like hanging around the sea. Oh, uh, yeah, see, more eggs. I I need to get I need to get back in, more inland as soon as possible. I'm honestly so lost at this point. I'm finding a lot of towers. A lot of tower buildings, for some reason. Well, there's some boat flies here. Oh, oh, radiation! Ugh. I shouldn't have done that! What? You go? Oh! Find you. Oh my god, this is, this is so chaotic. Actually, I think I'm in inadvertently near the near the church. Oh look, yeah, there's a there's a thing. Oh, hello, super boots. Oh no. Uh, come on. And you too. Oh god. Oh, it's just another dog. Or a hound. <laughs> why does why does like a lot of the rag dolls do that? Ah, uh, yeah. See, here's the uh, here's the old North Church. Thank goodness, after all that chaos. Uh. Oh, I kind of forgot about the ghouls in here. Huh, with all the dead ghouls, I just realized, like, it, it suggested that it they regularly, you know, kill and clear out the ghouls around here or before and the ghouls just keep on coming back so I think there's like one more ghoul. 
Oh yeah. Hello, ghoul. Goodbye, ghoul. And now the very complex cast of typing in the uh, passcode. Hmm, <laughs> spins. <laughs> I love the I love the uh, the characters uh, inter or yeah interaction with it as well. Easy as pie. Must be annoying for them to type th or to do that every single time. Stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further. I mean not really, I just killed some ghouls. Ooh. Now the real hard part was getting through all the bullshit in Boston. Uh let me uh, let's try this without doing any um without anything. Why don't you tell me who you are first. You wanted to see us. So that means you're playing by okay. our rules. So, answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Do we know each other? I didn't need to meet you to hear about you. You have made waves. The Brotherhood of Steel let you into their ranks. That's a hell of a thing there. And, as if that wasn't enough, Des, he's the one that cleared Fort Strong for the Brotherhood. He's one of their main knights or something. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you've got your revenge. But that doesn't bring your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, Wait, so they know that I killed Kellogg? Know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors. What are they really? The Institute created them. Synthetic humans. They're mostly organic, part machine. Somewhere along the line, they became more than just constructs. They think. They feel, and they act just like you and me. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this. Your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Hey there. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Do you really have to be so cagey? The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. Too bad. 
I was hoping to get some beer money out of it. If you're picking up the tab, never mind. Go for it. So Dez wants me to make you a tour. <laughs> That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. I'm not sure. I'll tell you the game plan. Then you decide. I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's going to be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. All right, so... I mean, that's pretty... I mean, it's pretty much generic, that whole kind of line. There's nothing really new or special unless you want to, you know assault the r railroad right then and there but I mean I'm not interested in doing that I'm actually wanting to I'm actually wanting to you know actually do some missions f for them what is it <laughs> okay I was actually wondering like can you actually turn off the lights but I'm guessing that's just an asset j uh, for uh, one time only for th for those lights so yeah eh. Now, I'm, I was just thinking, since I don't want to lose all the progress, actually, you know what, hmm, Cabot House is just over here, and I'm not exactly gonna go too far into the mission, but since, since Cabot House is just right here, uh, yeah, I am gonna go... I'm gonna pay a visit to to the Cabot House and get that uh, get that quest at least somewhat started. Uh, oh, ghouls! As long as it's only hey hey hey! I told you to go into that game. Lovely. Okay, 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 I am gonna hide here. Oh. No, a smart person hides. Danger, danger. Oh, God. I don't know what, where I'm in danger from. Let's just run, run, run. Oh, wait, hold on. Why there are mocked in blue? I am utterly confused. You know, I'm not even gonna question it. I'm just gonna let that let that event play. Hello there, um, scary bot. Hello. Hello, Sentry bot. Hello? Go away. <laughs> oh, 
up yours? Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. Sounds good. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. You just have to. He'll be right with us. Oh, damn. Clearly, I think you're just a mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabin House. I'm Jack Tan. Oh, come on. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here, since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. I... I love how he, like, puts up that question that's obviously, it's like... I, that's obviously, like, alien-related, or at least kind of is set up to be, but then he's like, no, no, none of that malarkey. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then? I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. Okay, hello, hello, camera? Camera! <laughs> what the hell is going on with the camera? Uh, oh, this is a camera. Hello. You're still following, um, Cabot. I don't think we're talking to Cabot anymore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? You haven't told me half of what I need to know. Keep your shirt on. I'm getting to it. <laughs> you should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force. Are you sure you're looking she at me? She point you in the right direction. You all set then? Now you're looking at me. 
Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Anything else? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Are we good here? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons. So you'd better get going. Alright. Uh... Don't know where I should... I mean, there are raiders right there. Which I don't really feel comfortable about. And I'm not quite sure if a vertebrate can get right here. Let's see if one can. Yeah, I it, it, bird birds can be very finicky of where they can land and whatnot. That's honestly one of the reasons why I bought so many. Really? Oh, that could be a problem. Luckily it wasn't. Holy shit, where did that dog fly to? Yay! Yeah, that's honestly one of the reasons why I bought so many and why I keep so many on me is because those have a tendency to not want to work and especially in these part in this part of Boston. Where are you going to land? Because a lot of the time you don't land exactly where... Uh... Hello? Bird a bird? Where are you going? Are you going over here? Oh no. Let's go ahead and board this thing and get the fuck out of here. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to go back to sanctuary just so I can actually drop a fast save. And uh oh no. Well, there's a legendary ra raider. Oh, ah! Ah, they must have a burning weapon or something. Ah, that's kind of a that kind of sucks that we missed that or whatnot, but oh. I'm gonna fire down at this radiation hole. That po that part of Boston is just chaotic from uh, <laughs> from what I remember. Oh my goodness, more cars are falling down. My god, what? It almost hit us as well! You, you see, a vertebral ride is not, um, it's not exactly the safest place to be. Because you can still get shot at by, um, different people. That's why I'm afraid of missile launcher, uh, people with missile, missile launchers and whatnot. Why is there more people shooting at us? 
Oh, hello, Carla. Uh, thank goodness your your um, Brahmin is not stuck on top of that building. Wait, what is going on over here? S oh, super mutants. Uh, it was a suicider. Hey, Preston, I think I need to talk to you. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Now, is it like the NCR radio? Because I've never used this flare gun. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. Looks like you just smelt a fart. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I don't know what makes you think that. You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here. <laughs> Basically, you're saying the same thing. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Okay, I'll do it. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. So if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. <laughs> I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, Nobody could agree on who should take his place. But one good thing about being the last minute man is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I just got some bad news. Super Mutants raided a settlement. <laughs> you can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to them. I love that awkward pause again. Wait, how did I get parasites? I was sleeping underneath the roof bed, wasn't I? Uh. Well, since we have some antibiotics with us, let's go ahead and take one. And eat some food. And drink some water. Alright, so after doing some looking around on the armor mods and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and put pocketed on this right is it my right arm yes because this is better with just base with um with with base armor and everything like that 
um, compared to my pocketed, uh, where is it? My, yeah, my leather right arm. And can we actually put any pocketed on anything else? Yes, we can. So yeah, let's go ahead and put pocketed on the left arm as well. Go ahead and use up the last bit of adhesive that we have around. Put some extra carry capacity on with us. And I did not notice this, but we have another level up. Now I've been debating this for a little bit. I'm I'm wondering if I should go. I mean, bloody menace just adds base base ten damage. Just you know, just overall. Critical banker is very useful. I'm probably gonna go with that. Because if, I mean, if I don't go with either one of these two, I'm more than likely I'm going to boost my charisma just so I can get up to local leader, which I only have to boost this up by three. And to be fair, the next rank of these two is only like, is not, I mean, it's it's a bit of far away. It's 43 and, well, 31. That, that's a little bit closer. So... You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and take Critical Banker, just because it's it's always going to be useful to have that extra critical at times. So, yeah. And plus, I, I'm going to be approaching that kind of point of time where I'm not going to be able, to, or I'm going to, there's not going to be that many perks that's going to be very useful to me. There's actually, I didn't even really see Ninja available there. That That's actually another arguably valuable thing, because sneak attracts is still not really doing it all the way for me so i think that's actually something i might do next time around is is to get critical uh, or not critical banker because uh, i just took it but to take um hello are you doing all right there but yeah <laughs> oh, i lost my train of thought but yeah uh the uh next time around i'm probably gonna take sni um, ninja uh, the next rank of ninja just because that it seems like the best de uh, the next or yeah the the next uh, best thing to get because I um, it's just my sneak attack criticals are not really doing it all the time which is kind of a problem oh whoops hello wait is that a blood bug oh no I hear you. Ah! I thought you was stuck in the ground or something. Yeah, let's avoid that area because I know gunners are around there. If we do remember from last time. Oh, there's a bed in there. That's nice to know. There we go. <laughs> nice. Wait, why is there two, what looks like to be two map markers? Oh, I see. Hey. Excuse me. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. What? Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. What are you talking about? You told me. Things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. What are you talking about? <coughs> Don't. Got a few things to take care of. See you at Lexington. This game, man. All right then. Did did the game break? Cause this. Hi. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. Well, you're here now, aren't you? Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. Oh my God. The... He's broken. All right. How about this? Let's just take an hour's nap. Got a few things to take care of. Oh. I'll see you at Lexington. Work, damn you! You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and go up here without you. How about that? Huh? How do you feel about that?
taking out the ghouls. I'm gonna meet this little fart face if you, whether you like it or not, without you. Hello. Leave me the hell alone, stranger. Hey. Leave me the hell alone, stranger. Oh my God! This. <laughs> This fucking quest is broken. Why is it broken? If you if you f fucking say you have to be in Lexington, then God help me. Hey, Deacon, got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. Move <coughs> to your assigned fucking. Few things to take care of. My God! <laughs> My God! This this fucking quest has never given me this problem before. What the hell? You're you're literally standing in the place and you know if you don't want to talk, then I'm not gonna do your quest. And that's a real damn shame because you give me a really good weapon. Well, well, yeah. Well, fuck you then. I'm gonna go just piss off over here. Ow. Okay, I did not realize that was there. Didn't realize there was a second mine. You know what, after that frustrating end of the episode, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, I'm not going to do... I'm, or I'm not sure what I'm going to do with, uh, with this broken-ass quest. So, uh, I mean, I I don't know if I should if I need to reload it or, or just, like just reload a save or whatnot, but it's it looks like it's really pretty thoroughly broken. So I'm I I honestly don't know what I need to do or what I should do to fix this thing or if it's broken because of one of the uh, because of the uh, next gen update. I I don't know. It, I never had this problem before. Uh, is I I don't know. <laughs> this, this game has been all kinds of funny ever since the next gen update. Like at first I didn't mind it because it, you know, at first it was all nice and I mean it was it was nice and everything. But then I started seeing its flaws after how how they just completely made the game even more broken seemingly <laughs> it's just uh like don't get me wrong like pe people i mean i i found it uh, like good and and you know and all right for you know more so it's on the console side but as i'm starting to play this more and more now extensively i'm starting to see how more broken the game actually is um more so on PC is just, ugh. It's, like, don't get me wrong, Fallout has always been kind of glitchy and just kind of funny in places, but it's, I'm starting to feel things have been kind of just, yeah, like, it, more so with this mission. It's, I, I'm not quite sure this mission was broken before the next-gen update, and now, I, and now it is, or at least I feel like it is. I never experienced it until after the next gen update and yeah it's <laughs> i'm i'm not one of those types of people who you know who naturally just you know hates on things because you know it's a i don't i don't exactly want to say it's a popular thing to do or anything like that but it's i am starting to see the flaws of the next gen update now and <laughs> yeah it's 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 kind of sad it's you know, it's kind of sad for for something that's supposed to be, you know, better for console players and better for, you know, the community turning out to be so, so shit. Because, I mean, it's like, I mean, I'm all for it. I'm all, 
I'm for I'm all for you know you know them updating the game and making it better but whenever it's actual breaking the base game and you know and, and even though I'm not playing with mods you know it you know it, it broke a lot of mods it bre pretty much broke all the mods and it, yeah it's just I don't want to really get too much into it but it's just whenever it causes that much you know uh, you know drama and all that other types of stuff and it makes the base game even more unstable it's 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 not good it, it's not it's, it's it's not a good look uh and it's just it's yeah i just i i i enjoy the game and everything but this is just it's kind of ridiculous at this point uh just, i mean i I mean, I was laughing at it at first, but now I'm actually quite annoyed. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go figure this shit out. And if I can't, you know, fix it, then I'm just going to go off and finish the um, Cabot uh, quest or, what, or whatever, that, that, whatever that quest is called. Since I'm already at this part of the map, so yeah anyways so yeah <laughs> if you like this episode please give it a like and if you want to see more of this content please have to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you freaks and geeks in the next episode bye oh.